How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing some Instacart the day before Thanksgiving. This is probably a very, very bad idea because just yesterday things were insane. You could barely even go through the baking aisle. It was pretty bad yesterday. Just doing an order that should have taken me like 45 minutes took me two hours. And if you forgot an item on the other side of the store, you would crawl through the mob and um, it took a lot of time. So today is probably going to be even worse, but we're trying to get that Costco drop. So uh, wish me luck. It's about to happen, so I'm gonna get on that, and then I'll show you guys what we end up getting. Costco. And yeah, we, we parked really far away just because it's so crazy here today. I can't wait. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, usually, I probably see like two or three batches, but right now I see literally 14, and Costco drop hasn't even happened yet, so let's uh, get back on that and concentrate. So I make sure I swipe a good one, and Apparently my mom's concerned. Okay. All right, so I took a $28 order. The drop was not as good as I was expecting, to be honest. There are like a ton of batches, but the numbers weren't as high as they usually are, which I think is kind of interesting, probably because there's just a lot of new people using. So you have 16 items, 16 units, so that's always good for being Costco, so we don't have to get like 80 gallons of milk done that before and there's nothing really crazy in this order so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and then I'll be back there were definitely other orders that I should have taken but I didn't so this is just what we're gonna have to do just so we get started so we're not sitting around so wish me luck hopefully everything's in stock so this doesn't go down anymore and maybe we'll be able to get a, a tip increase because we're gonna do such a good job on this all right so that's order a then order B is back there so the order went fine. It was like really crazy in there. The line just to get your receipt checked was literally backed up all the way to the bathroom. So that was fun, but they have like four people checking receipts. So they moved us through there really fast. I put on um, the ice cream in the insulated bag and we have a box. I've been really trying hard to get every single thing in a box so that I can, unless if it's huge because customers if they're shopping at Costco that's what they expect that is going to be one of my biggest tips for you guys today and in all of my videos I'm going to try and give you guys at least one good tip that I've learned over the year of doing Instacart myself also I filled out my little thank you for my customer because my rating is super low so hopefully this will help get some good ratings in without asking for five stars directly so with that being said we have ice cream we got to get that delivered so let's go ahead and go to our first customer all right first drop off done we're heading to the second one. First one was 10 minutes away this one's about 10 minutes away too so let's go for it all right so we just finished those orders it is 11 15 which means we did that in about one hour and it was about $29, so minus gas, we're pretty close to $30 an hour, which is what I try to be at. For shopping, we did it in 14 minutes. Our goal was to do it in 27 minutes, basically, so we crushed that. The only part that took forever was the driving part. It was two drop-offs, so 10 minutes to the first drop-off, 10 minutes to the second, and then like 10 minutes back here. So about 30 minutes of driving, I guess that's worth it, but um, I'm gonna try and get another batch and see if we can get some a little nicer for our pre-Thanksgiving. I've been seeing this order for a while and it's tempting because that's where I live. It's uh, delivering to my town, which is why it's so far away. And it's very tempting because it's not a lot of items, but it's just, it's too bad. Yeah, there are like so many orders right now, but none that i'm trying to take there's this one but it's almost as many miles as it is for pay and that's a definite no-go i will say with where i'm shopping i've had a lot of good luck because i am basically i sit at a costco parking lot there's a sam's club 10 minutes away there's a two hebs 10 minutes away a total wine that is right here as well so we have a lot of shops that we could potentially work at so hopefully we're able to find something worthwhile today supposed to be my day off because Wednesdays usually are garbage but obviously this Wednesday is a little bit different with the holiday coming up so we just have an absurd amount of batches. So I finally found a decent batch but it's really far away from me. It's actually where I live and I'm I don't want to go all the way over there just for that order so that stinks because if I was working there that day I would totally take that like that was better than this morning's order. All right, so we just took a $28 order. It's been way too long I've been sitting. So I ended up taking this order at a HEB nearby. That was exactly what I was not supposed to do today because the HEB is gonna be insane and it's probably gonna take me way too long to do this order, but I've been sitting for 30 minutes, ate some lunch, and I, I'm not seeing any good orders. I'm seeing a lot of uh, small orders and I think it's because there's a lot of like new users that only need a few things for Thanksgiving tomorrow. 
So it, yeah, it's kind of weird. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this order. It's probably gonna take me a little over an hour for $28, not too bad, but we also wasted a half hour sitting here. So that sucks. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the store. All right, so we arrived to the HEB and we have our order here. I'm about to start it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a cart and a basket today and I'm gonna use the basket to actually go in the aisles because just bringing a cart through an aisle right now is nearly impossible. So we'll use the basket if I have to get a bunch of stuff in an aisle and then bring it back to the cart. We'll see how that goes and hopefully that helps us out. Anyways, I'll see you guys hopefully in about an hour and if it's more, I'm not gonna be happy. But yeah, wish me luck. All right, first order. Second order, and new dent, nice. All right, so we finished that batch in 52 minutes, which is a lot longer than it would normally take just because of how crazy the store's at. So let's go ahead and drop the first one off. It should be about 10 minutes again. All right, so while I'm stuck in some traffic, using the basket was pretty good. It did help me get through some aisles that were very chaotic. Um, still one of the biggest problems is getting there even with just the basket not using a cart it's still very tight and then um, for some reason instacart stopped doing aisle by aisle so they used to tell me exactly where everything was and um, they stopped doing that but yeah shopping the day before thanksgiving kind of sucks because it is extremely busy and i haven't seen like a ton of great orders like i was expecting it's a lot of like small orders like i've been saying this entire time so that kind of stinks i don't know if i'm gonna even come close to my goal usually i try to make like 200 150 to 200 but i don't think that's happening today because it's just too crazy all right so our first order stayed at basically what we took it at and then the second order did go down like two dollars or so um i actually only went down a dollar so that's not bad um, I didn't do any refunds, that was just from replacements, so that kind of stinks because I replaced it with more expensive stuff, of course, after the customer okayed it, but still my order went down. Um, not a big deal, but we just got another order actually that is about $30 and then I think 13 miles, and um, it's pretty heavy. It's like a ton of water on one order, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this order done. As you can see, it seems pretty easy, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so there's the one with all the water. And the back of my car. It's literally stacked. All right, so that order went pretty well. Um, I was able to shop it in I think like 10 minutes or so. So that's sweet, but I do have like a 18 minutes to the customer's house. And one of them's in an apartment and it might be the one with all the water, so. That's gonna be how today is gonna go. Uh, wish me the luck and I'll see you guys in a little. So the last order is pretty easy, dropped it all off. My back hurts a lot, kinda to be expected with that much water. But we did get another order. It's gonna be the last one for today. It's only seven items, it's really easy and it's delivering to the town I live in. So it's a further drive so no one wanted to take this but I'm already heading over there so I'll take it for 33 bucks. All right, told you guys it was an easy order. It literally took like 10 minutes again and 20 minutes to drop off and then I'll be done and we'll go over the day. All right, so just got home. Um, we're gonna basically see how we did today and try and figure out like how much money we made per hour. And what I'm gonna go by is the moment I started my first delivery to the moment that I ended my last delivery. So it was basically six hours on the dot um, I still have a ton of batches here, but they're all really small, which is a theme of today. So let's go ahead and go offline and see if we see anything cool here. So I was hoping to have some customer feedback because I'm trying to get my ratings back up. I've been purposely trying to take orders with multiple customers just so it doubles my chances of getting more reviews because I really need some more five star reviews to get back up to five stars. This is my rating right now. And uh, before I forget, let's take a look at our overall earnings today. Definitely not normal. Usually I'm able to do a lot more than this. So that just kind of goes to show what happens when you guys shop during a very busy like time of the year. If it's a holiday, you guys are fighting traffic. You guys are fighting everyone in the grocery store and it's a mess. 
And then on top of that, whenever you have more shoppers in the store, there's more things that are out of stock, which means you guys have to do refunds, which lowers your earnings, which stinks, but it is what it is. So that last order, it did go down by $3, which stinks because it was originally a $33 order because they're out of the plastic silverware that this lady requested. So I had to refund it. I messaged her and she just would prefer to refund it, try and get it another time. So somehow refunding that ended up deducting $4 from the order, which sucks. It always sucks when you have to do refunds because you literally have to do more work and then you get paid less. It is what it is. It still was a decent day. It wasn't too stressful. I probably would stick to just doing Costco next time because Costco is just built for high traffic versus HEB and like your local grocery stores. They're just too small. The little aisles barely let you have two carts come across. So I'm probably going to be working Black Friday next. So hopefully I'll be able to apply some of this knowledge to that day and hopefully just stick to Costco because HEB just drained me. It was way too much work because I just couldn't get anywhere in the store. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are into gig work like this. I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff like this on this channel. So hopefully this turned out all right and you guys are able to enjoy it. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next video.